Hey everyone, how are you? Ash Kendra here from the Nightcliff uh, Tigers Fishing Club. Here it is, the one we were waiting for. I think it might be the first time this has been done outside of Japan at the shows. Um, lucky enough to get one off uh, one of the Japanese companies and sent it over to me first, so I'm very excited about that. Thanks guys. The Calcutta Conquest 200 DC, the 2019, the brand new model. Fantastic, been really excited about this. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Here we go. Get that done. Box, always well done Japanese, always packed everything so awesome. Never had a drama yet. So the 2019 Calcutta. Um, from reports I've heard they're not going to bring this to Australia, which is a shame. Um, my old Cal I've got a Calcutta DC from Japan before, and it's my best reel I've owned. Um, they're amazing reel for barra and stuff like that. Here we are, 200 DC. Super well packed. Uh, it's a low ratio uh, reel. I think I think it's like a 541 for the reel. Uh, we'll check that once we get the box open. Um, but it's been fully remade, new new chassis, a couple of new design features I've seen on uh, the Shimano Japan videos and Singapore videos that have put it out. Now uh, let's see if it's got the ratios on here. No, they normally have them on the outside. No, that's right, we'll find them in there. Cool. Wow. Pretty excited about this. Could be the, it's definitely the first Australian one of it. Let's see what we got here. 201 DC, obviously in Japanese. Parts, parts book. Always comes in handy down the road. Nice little bag for it. And here she is. The new lady. In. Wow. Jeez, that's so small. <laughs> Look at that thing. That is superb. Holy bundy. That is so tiny compared to the last one. Look at that. So that's your adjustments for your thing. Obviously it's DC, so it's like most DC reels. So you'll have your adjustment in there. Adjust your, your levels. Um, it's, it's only got a small handle on it. I'm trying to get out of the frame, so it's, that is super small. Now I'm gonna grab my other, my old cow cutter, and so we can compare the sizes against them as well. There you go. Okay guys, here we go, the Calcutta Conquest 200 DC. Um, wow, look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. What a reel. What a reel. You can see, you can see the huge amount of difference here where the gears, gear package is dropped down. They've taken it looks like it's down and this outer outer casing for the reel is a lot smaller than the previous model um, yeah handles 42 millimeters um, it's a 12 and 1 ball bearing uh, reel it is 57 centimeters line retrieval per wind it's a 6 kilo rated reel and it's 260 grams, only 260 grams, which is really, really light. Line-wise, it does 14 pounds at 145 meters. It'll lose 16 pound for 120 meters and 20 pound for 100 meters. 
Uh, it's a 4.8 gear ratio, so it's a really low ratio. So actually, it's probably going to work out really well for us for what its intentions for. Um, I'm going to use it for trawling when we do on our barrow runs. Um, I'm going to try it on everything else, but 4 weight, it's, it's pretty a pretty slow, uh, pretty low. So it's got heaps and heaps of grunt. So which is what it's all about. Calcutta always been having heaps of grunt. And when you find those, when you're trying to get a meter barrow in, um, you, you need something that can take a hide. And, and I have no doubt in my mind that this thing is going to be able to handle what barra, the big barra, saltwater barra can give us. Main feet, one of the other main features you can see, obviously, the lever. Uh, it's gone from the rotation one, which is again nice. I think they've done a really nice job. The slots here looks really good. Um, really, really like that. I'm not sure if they act as a drain point or not for the cover. Um, We'll have to get that cover off and suss it out. Um, and yeah, just come up really, really nice. Nice fun bar, that's done a really good job. Even got some little slots in there for a little bit of extra grip in there, so that's good. You can see now that, that that's recessed that where your thumb sits on there, so that's gonna be really, really comfortable. So yeah, I like that, I like that a lot. A beautiful, beautiful reel. Absolutely gorgeous. Yep, love it. Okay, two reels. So you can obviously see the size there now. It's, um, it's a massive change. What they've been able to do to, to change those, those two sizes of that reel, it's just, yeah, wow, Shimano. What a reel. So your slots here are the, are the main change. It's a lever there instead of a, a little two finger dial, which I think actually is going to be better because it'd just be a lot easier just to flick that round than to try and get in there with two fingers when you've got fish slime and um, gloves on trying to get in there and turn that. I mean, that's still easy and I haven't had any dramas with it, but that's just a one finger up, down, up, down, just a pivot. Pivot instead of a dial. I think that's going to be a lot better. Turn them around. Get them around this way. Okay, handle size, I think they're probably about the same. Uh, I'd say they're about the same dimensions. They look about the same length. A um, little bit different. I've got some aftermarket uh, paddles on my old one, so they're a lot, lot different. They're the wide version, um, but they're nice. Nice looking pad, so that's alright, that'll be nice and comfy, nice and soft, not too hard, plenty of width on there, so yeah, pretty good. The uh, top slots, obviously a hell of a lot different, that's now vertical where your thumb normally rests, and that's a flat bar too, that's the other thing. The other one you can see was just basically part of the reel, and didn't sink down, where they've managed to bring that in, machine it down, so when your thumb sits on there, it's gonna be nice and just flat, it's a good spot to rest. So yeah, they've done well there in that regards. The spools, yeah, different, different again. You can see right in here, that spool, it's a light, I'm not sure what if what they've done with the spool as such, but yeah, it's it looks a lot deeper. It actually does look deeper than the than the previous version. I'm not sure if you can see that in there. But it, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Then the other end. The other end, a little bit different. Got a fully knurled knob there, with the gold accents. This has just got a, a nail knob on the top. So just on that outer edge so it doesn't go down the whole way. Um, similar, that was a clicker. This is a clicker, so that's good. No quality loss there. Um, instead of having it down here, you've got the, all this meat now here. So it's like they've dropped that gearing down. So maybe wait how they've made that uh, smaller by extending this outer case, the gear case, down lower. You can see the difference in the meat. Uh, on the old old version, there's only a small chamfer there, and then here is just a massive. It's at least double, maybe two and a half times the thickness there. So that old gear casing was obviously a 
made part of the main frame where now this is just about separate, a separate unit I guess you could call still still a one one piece down here so there's still one piece there it's just dropped down so I guess down the track we'll look at it look into it and open up and suss it out once I need to give it a service um, yeah stars that's, that's the next thing you see stars that's, if anything I do like these ones because they're a little bit rounder so when you're adjusting your drag there's no point for your thumb to get stuck in this one here has got a sharp point so I mean it's probably not much and you're not going to do it that much but it is sort of it's still round but probably would have kept it a little bit more like that one it was a it's pretty close to a point but not not a much but yeah that is a big difference there uh, a different cover screw for the handle. So now it's got a cover that covers the whole screw as such. I'm not sure what's underneath. Um, but you can see there it was just a, like a, basically like a star washer on the old version. And here we've got a cover plate similar to a couple other new reels now that I've noticed. Um, so yeah, around the front. I don't think there's too much differences around the front there. Just a good angle to see those, the difference. And obviously that was being that as round that was up higher so your thumbs up higher so now with this such so small and then even this now is chamfered down into it that's going to sit lower so that's going to be basically a lot closer to the rod so be able to get a really good feeling of that rod and, it, and any bites i guess so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to using it, it looks yeah it looks awesome not going the gold gray not going the the silver gold i did actually like the silver and gold I'm not sure what the gold would look like on this thing. It's like a grey. It's not a silver anymore. It's like a yeah, like a, a gunmetal sort of grey aluminium on it. So, but yeah, wow, just so small. It's just yeah, just can't believe it. It's really nice, silky smooth, absolutely silky smooth. There you go, Shimano Calcutta Conquest 200DC. This little beautiful beast. Hey, have a look at that. How could you not want to buy that thing? That is amazing. What they've done, my old girl, love ya. Beautiful. Did me a world, world of good last year. Loves Barra. Had no issues with Barra. I was, didn't lose one fish last year on this thing. It was just awesome. This is just another animal, smaller. Like I don't know, I don't know how to explain it more. Like when you have that reel on, if you can, you can see that, and then you come in and you've got that. It's just tiny. It is like really, really tiny. It feels like half the size in your hands. That's how the size difference this thing's got. So yeah, amazing reel, upgraded into just a stunningly beautiful reel. Um, there was a few knockers with different pieces. This being down, you can see that one is the same, same, same level as the rest of the casing, where this actually drops down a couple of mil. So it's a, a rest board. So like your thumb is just about gonna be oh, at least 10 mil or close, closer to your rod. Um, I'm, I'm saying that's just going off my eyes, but it'd be pretty close. I should measure it. I'll check it out. Let's get a ruler. Radio. Just did a quick measurement. Something I think you ought to know. So your distance between the old cow cutter from where your rod mounts, the bottom of that, to where your thumb would normally sit, that was 50 mil. 50, 51, roughly around 51 mil. I didn't have vernier, so I just went off a ruler. On this new little lady, from there to there to where your thumb sits, so the top of that bar, 45 mil. So it's get, I'm talking five, minimum five mil, probably up to six, maybe seven mil. That, that's dropping down. So that's that's a yay, yay far. That's a that's a big bit. That's going to be closer, right? It's going to give you a bit, little bit better feel, I think, and it's going to be a lot more comfortable. 
thumbs are going to be a bit relaxed, a lot more relaxed on the reel. Yeah, Calcutta DC radio. Um, yeah, thanks again while I'm here. Thanks all our sponsors, amazing sponsors. Hey, don't forget our sponsors. That's why we're here, guys. They're the guys that help us bring you these videos. You wouldn't know about this beautiful thing. Mwah. Unless these guys helped us out. And that's what they do. They, the only reason we have these nice uniforms, I can bring you uh, reviews on this amazing reel before anyone else. Off-grid electrical installations. Number one sponsor, amazing. Bocker Bearings. Thank you very much for all your support. You're doing an amazing job. Ronnie and the team, Ronnie and George and the team of Fishing Outdoor World, if you're in Darwin, there's no better place to get your fishing gear. They've been there forever. They're one of the originals. They've always looked after us. Customer service is their number one thing. They've got everything you need. If they don't have it, they'll get it for you. Uh, go see the boys, see Ronnie and the team. There's a lot of knowledge up there. If they don't know what's going on, it's not going on, simply. Uh, yeah, Wu Tungsten. Proud to be a team member with Wood Tungsten. Hopefully going to catch you some good fish. And yeah, thank you to all our sponsors. It's the only reason you get to see this amazing, beautiful, gorgeous Calcutta 200 DC 2019. Yeah. Catch us later.